Hi, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place and today we're reviewing the Swift Vogue 580 SB. This is a 2019, it's a special edition. It's based upon the Sprite Major. Um, so it's like a Sprite Major with a diamond pack, but with a load of extras put on top of that. Um, you'll see quite a lot of differences because we've got upgraded upholsteries, upgraded chassis, um, lots of extra sockets on the outside. So let's have a look and see what we've got. I'll be deep under your influence tonight Ooh, keep it coming, babe I don't mind another round Drinking from your bottle, babe Calling it wasted love, wasted love I can't get enough of my baby I'ma be wasted love, wasted So on the near side, we've got underbed storage on the rear locker, underbed storage on the front lockers. We've got external 230 volt socket. We've got the external barbecue point. We're fitted on the 13 pin socket as standard. We've got the Alco ATC. We've got the Alco AKS hitch. Room for two gas bottles. It's set up for propane and we've got the little hand wheel. This has also got the wheel lock included. And then on the off side, we've got the flue for our Truma. We've got our water in. We've got our battery 230 volt connection just behind the wheel. We've got the wastewater outlets. And then right at the back, we've got the cassette toilet. This is also fitted with a motor mover. So that was fitted extra and above and beyond what it would have come with new. On the roof, we've also got the solar panel. Let's have a look inside and see what it's like. So inside the 2019 Swift Vogue 580 SB, we get a nice living area at the front. It's not a huge seating area, but that's big enough to be able to lie down and relax during the day. This does make into a nice double bed at the front. And again, we've got the little slide out chest of drawers on the front there. A lot of the newer vans now haven't got USB sockets. This has been fitted with the USB sockets. We've got an extra, uh, we've got a 230 volt socket and we've got provision as well to fit extra sockets if required. So that's nice and handy. Um, if you wanted to put TV and whatever you on there, you would need an aerial socket put in at the front there, but there's plenty enough room to do that. Kitchen area, we've got the little fold up unit on the, extension so that makes into a real nice little unit and again we've got the little, little funky curved shelf on the side and we've got the little cutout so if you wanted to run wiring down for a kettle toaster etc and we've got our 230 volt sockets here nice little light switches it's quite high spec van really because we've got the microwave three-way fridge freezer it has only got the three burner hob on the gas but i don't know whether we really need any more than that to be fair Another nice design uh, on this one being the special edition is we get the geometric crinkle curtains and they just, they sort of sit crinkled um, and again we've got the little cushions as well and they're an absolutely fab design. I, I can't believe more designs aren't going for a bit newer, bolder statement than, than what these are. 
lots of overhead locker lighting so we've got the above cabinet lighting and we can control these on the new swift system so it has got the latest command system this can be controlled via app so you can connect your phones up and then we can control everything from this so we've got our water pump on and off our lighting our awning light our power our heating system so we have got the standard control system but we can run it through the panel here we've got a radio so there's not actually a radio interface in the caravan it's built into this unit and runs through its own little tuner system so uh, some great features on there and, and settings that you can have a play around with in that too this has got the nice transverse island bed it slides out if you are that little bit taller and need a little bit extra room if you're a little bit shorter um, you can remove that back cushion and that's a good size bed and it gives you loads of room around the end of the bed as well uh, even when it's out to be fair it's two seconds to slide it in and out so that works nice and again we've got nice big wardrobes either side of the bed and our wardrobes over the bed at the back we've got a great washroom with separate shower and toilet and again there's plenty of room in there to be able to get changed so on the unit next to the bed we've got more plug sockets and aerial sockets and a 12 volt point as well so if you wanted tv 12 volt 230 volt it can all run from there we've got little sockets on the side here as well uh, a lot of the vans lack sockets these days so hair dryers hair straighteners etc I know I don't need it but uh, you've got the option to have that there and again on the side we've got a point here for TV so again a nice little unit and we've got our aerial 12 volt and 230 volt socket on the side there also this is the uh, obviously the newer construction so we've got rid of all the wood uh, roof sides and then again we have got a wooden floor but the underneath is all GRP too really nice layout uh, plenty of room either as a two or a four berth as i say that front seating area makes into another double bed but they are quite good for for children um nice single beds they will make all the fly screens and blinds you can let loads of light and close it right down of a night as well and again as i say the little lighting it's all controllable so you can dim and uh, lighten those up to your desired effects Hopefully you've enjoyed our little review on this 2019 Swift Vogue 580SB. If uh, there's anything else that you'd like to see, just let us know and we can have a look at that for you. Thanks, I'm Mark at The Caravan Place. Ooh, keep it coming, babe, I don't mind another round. Drinking from your bottle, babe, calling it wasted love. From your bottle